Hi, good evening, um, everyone. My name is Sharon Young. I'm a trainee counselor from Student Guidance Unit. Today, I'll be sharing about, I'll be talking about procrastination, which is a common issue that happens to you and me. And what is procrastination? Let's have a look. Today, I'll be sharing on what is procrastination and are you procrastinating? Then we will go to why do we procrastinate? And then uh, is dangers of procrastinations and how do we combat procrastinations? And finally, I have some take home message for you all to bring home. Yeah. Now, let's buckle up our safety belt, uh, safety belt and let's go. All right. Now, what is procrastinations? I think this is a common issue happen to you and me almost every day, especially to students. Okay, let me give you some classic example. All right. Some classic examples for procrastination is a student postponed studying for an exam until the night before, despite wanting to start earlier and feeling bad about the delay after that. Okay. Next is a student who has months to submit his assignment, but delays until the day before the deadline to work on it, despite repeatedly promising themselves that he or she will do it soon. Another uh, classic example is promising yourself that you will get started on a project one day or sometime soon, but never making any progress toward it. Next is planning to start a new habit, like example like uh, dieting, exercising, or saving money. But instead of making excuses to wait it for months, even though you know that it would be better to just start. Is this familiar to you? To uh, do I have a few of head knobs on this? You know, this is the common examples. This is the common thing happens to students. All right. Now, let's check. Are you procrastinating? We have a few uh, points here. I have a few, a few, a few points here that you can check across yourself. The first one is waiting until the last minute before deadlines to get started. You know, you will be waiting day after day. You think that, you know, the deadline is given to you. When you start your semester, usually the deadline of submission will be given to you. And you thought that it's still a, a long time to go. Then you will be waiting and waiting and say, okay, I do it next, next week. Then next week you will have other job. Then you will keep on delaying, you see. So eventually it will become, you wait until the last minute before the deadline's then to get started, then you feel very anxious and see, and time is not in your hand. Then the next thing is continually saying, I'll do it later or I'll do it tomorrow. Does this sound familiar to you? Have you ever said this? Yeah. The third one is needlessly delaying finishing tasks, even if they are important. You know that to finish your assignment is very important. To study for your exam is very important. Yet, there's always other things that you put beforehand, you see, and you procrastinate that the important task that you need to do, right? Next is uh, postponing working on things that you don't like to do. Simply because maybe uh, you don't like it, you see, and you are giving excuse to yourself that, oh, I do it later, okay, la, I'll put something that I like to do first, then I'll go ahead with it first, you see. Then this is what that you are keep on postponing working on the things that you don't like to do. The next is putting off making decisions. No, you don't know what decisions to make or, you know, you, you're just delaying making decisions. Huh? The last but not least is struggling to get started. You know that there's a lot of things in your plate and you need to get started, but you so struggle to get started, especially when the work pile up. You know, I understand that one, uh, some student, uh, one semester is taking few subjects in one semester. See, time is that time management is very important. If you're struggling to get started, then you will eventually feel the pain. So are you procrastinating? I will stay here for two minutes so that you can actually think and do a reflection by looking at my slide and the points given. Okay, ask yourself and check across uh, from all the points that is provided and say, hey, am I procrastinating? Or I simply become lazy, being lazy that, you know, I'm not doing things or I'm simply be 
uh, being, you know, delaying or postponing my work? Or am I procrastinating, right? So you see here, I'll give you two minutes or maybe a few seconds for you to glance through and do a self reflection. am I? Usually we, we take it as, uh, uh, as being lazy or postponing or delaying, but this term is called procrastinating. And what is procrastination that I already say? Procrastination is an action of delaying or postponing something. And some classic examples are already given just now. Okay, if you want to hear back again, maybe you can. Later, and I'll do it later. No, this is the common reason we give ourselves. Maybe you have more than no, I know, but in here I have four reasons why do we procrastinate. First, let's look at why are we procrastinate? Because we are wired to seek instant gratifications. What does gratification mean? Gratification is a source of pleasure, especially when gain. Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry there is an interruption of the uh, the line. All right, so I will continue like, you know, gratification that we are talking just now. Oh, my camera turns black, but never mind. I'm still with you, okay? And I believe you're still with me, yeah? Okay, so why do we procrastinate? Like just now I say, because we are wired to seek instant gratification. Gratification means uh, it's a source of pleasure especially when gained from satisfaction of desire. Oh, what does that mean? Huh? Still sound very complicated, right? Let me give you a simple example. Okay, browsing social media or playing game when you should be working, all right? And even though you are frustrated with yourself and wish you could just get started with your work, this is what the point one means. You are wired to, you know, you seek pleasure first. Okay, you seek something that you like to do to satisfy your desire first. So we are always wired like that. Everybody loves pleasure, pleasure, you see. Everybody loves to enjoy what we are doing. So the things that, you know, um, will stress us up and we will kind of delay and postpone it. Therefore, why we procrastinate is because we are wired to seek instant gratification. Next, we think that we should be perfect. What does that mean? Okay, let me share with you. Professionalism can play a role in procrastination. Why? Because people may delay tasks they believe they won't perform well or they will fail altogether. And therefore, they may try to put off a task until they suddenly feel more inspired or have a better idea. This is why a professionist or you want to be perfect or you think that I should produce a, a A1 job and then you're waiting to have the inspirations and you're waiting to have a better plan. And it can be a reason why you're procrastinating your work or your assignment. Okay. Next, we will go to because we don't like what we need to do. What does that mean? I think this is common, right? When we like something, we will do it instantly. And when we don't like something, we will tend to delay, right? And postpone it. Okay. It makes sense that if you perceive an activity as boring or unpleasant, huh, then you are far more likely to put it off until later. This is what it means by because we don't like what we need to do. All right? Let me repeat that. Because we don't like what we need to do, meaning that the uh, if you perceive the activity as boring or unpleasant, then you are far more likely to put it off until later. 
Last but not least is because we are too busy. Um, this word too busy is commonly, you know, faced by either you are adult or your primary uh, student or your secondary student or even a university student because we are too busy. So can we do something about it or not? Or we can't do anything about it. Actually, we have choice. Life is full with choice, you know. It's just that how you want to exercise your choice and exercise your right and exercise your willpower. Now, let's have a look on, you know, uh, the dangers of procrastinations. Have you ever think that, you know, there's a consequences of procrastination? Or you just that, oh, okay, look, I delay my work only, I'm just being lazy, I'm just being too busy, or I'm just being uh, uh, boring to do that. But it comes with the consequences. And let's have a look what is the consequences and what are the dangers of procrastinations, okay? Procrastination is associated with various potential issues, including, you no, know, you will miss your opportunities, you have worse academic performance, and then you will increase interpersonal conflicts and worse emotional well-being. And what does all this mean? In a simple word, that means when you procrastinate, you waste your time. And the precious time that could be used productively. All right. And then or uh, your procrastination creates unneeded anxiety for you. Even though you have decided to put off the task to later, you think about it from time to time, causing extra worry as opposed to if you did it from the start. This is what you see. You already know that you, you need to do, but you're procrastinating it, you see. So when uh, when the date of submission approaching, then you will develop anxious because you don't have enough time to finish all your assignments, you know, or, uh, or preparing for your exam, for your studies. This is why the anxiety kick in. If you know, if you can, you know, uh, plan it earlier or get it started earlier, this can, be, uh, this can actually be avoided. All right. So another thing is by leaving little time for the task, the final output is usually short of what you are really capable of since you have insufficient time to leave, deliver quality result. This is what I say earlier. Yeah, because time is not in your hand already. It's a shortage of time. So the work that you produce may not be, you know, as good as when you have quality time. So these are the dangers, especially, you know, for students like you. All right. So you could have missed opportunities that you do a better job. You, you could have worse academic performance because you know you don't have enough time to study and do revisions, especially for those students that cope with many uh, subjects in a semester. And then you increase interpersonal conflicts, you will have self-blame, you will have self-anxious, you will have anxious here and there because you know, you know there is something unfinished business in your mind and you will be keep on thinking about it. And you will end up with worse emotional well-being. So these are the dangers of procrastination. All right. Have you ever think of that? Yeah, I think uh, tonight is something that we should ponder that procrast procrastination actually come with the consequences. Huh? All right. Next, we will go to how to combat procrastination. All right. First. We will break tasks into manageable steps. What does that mean? That means you sub tasks you can easily complete. You know, especially for students who have got few subjects in one semester. That is, if let's say you have six, you are taking six subjects in one semester. That means you have six exams to go, to sit for. Uh, you have six assignments to do. So it's like a lot of things you see. So what you need to do is you need to break it down and you need sub tasks that you can easily complete. Which one you can easily complete first, you know, you have to plan it out, get the paper, plan it out. Then it will be easier for you to combat the procrastination. Next is commit to tiny first step. All right. For example, you know, working for just two minutes to get the work started, to keep the ball rolling, rather than, you know, you are procrastinating it, say, oh, I'll do it later, I'll do it later, I don't know how to do I haven't got enough information, I still need to find further information, you know, things like that, and you, you're waiting for everything uh, 
uh, uh, to ready, then only you start and you will be delaying. So, you know, instead of that, you can actually kick start with a little, little, little first step. So what does that mean? That means you, you start working right one, uh, let's say you're writing uh, your assignment. Let's get it starting writing an uh, introduction first, you know, rather than you just put the whole thing there and procrastinate it. I just get start with maybe today I want to spend half an hour writing introduction. Uh, maybe next I will use half an uh, hours to do literature review, no kinds of thing like that. The next is you can give yourself permission to make mistake. Meaning what? Meaning you can accept that your work will be imperfect. That means you do not need to, you do not need to, you know, really wait and get all the thing to be ready that you can product you can produce a best piece of paper then only you get you kick start doing your work you can actually start first as you go along the way then you finish then you have more time then you can come back and you can check your work huh? that is a way to combat the procrastinations another thing is you make it easier to do things what does that mean that means by preparing everything you need in advance okay uh, it's just like when we go traveling, right? We pack our bags, we pack all our our things, then we are ready for the day and we go. In order for you to stop your procrastination by saying that I haven't got enough thing, I cannot start this and that, you can actually gather everything that you need and you set a date and you get it started. Uh, this is what it means by making it easier to do things, okay? Next is you make tasks more enjoyable. All right, especially this fall back to the earlier that we say, uh, why are we, why do we procrastinate, right? We say when we, we procrastinate because uh, we, there is things that we don't like to do. So how to combat this? The things that, you know, maybe particular subject, I don't know, uh, or maybe particular things that, you know, you procrastinate because you simply found that it's boring or you have got no interest, things like that. So you can make tasks more enjoy enjoyable by... Listening to music when you do your assignment. You can make your task more enjoyable by just having a nice coffee beside you or tea. Or even you can have a bar of chocolate, you know, to make the task more enjoyable. Or you even can, you know, uh, have a group of friends that work together for your task for your assignment. So you just mix the one that you think that is boring and you have no interest to a more enjoyable task for you. Huh? So the next one is you make it harder to procrastinate. What does that mean? Make it harder to procrastinate means by eliminating potential distractions. Simply put your gadgets away, right? Your gadgets don't put it so near to you or you know it will stop you from gaming. Uh, or you uh, award to to go to places, maybe something like that. As I think especially it's gadgets now, your phone, yeah? It's, uh, if it's a potential distraction to you or TV or drama or games or whatever, so you make it harder, <laughs> you don't get it you know, so easily. So you will stop, you will tend to stop the, to procrastinate your work as well. Another thing is you set deadlines. Okay, you set day nice. What does that mean? That means uh, you know that your assignment is still, let's say your assignment is still 1st December. You can set a deadline earlier when you want to start. You know that you are procrastinating. You know, you know yourself, you know, you are delaying, you're postponing, you are, you are, you know, you are not doing it, even though you know that you have the date in your hand, your date of submission, your submission date. But yet, how you want to combat is to set the deadlines by when I want to start. Like say, uh, by Monday, I want to start. But that is not good enough. You need to be specific on the day and the time, perhaps. Like, I want to start Monday. Monday when? Monday morning? Monday afternoon? Monday evening? So you set a specific time that you know is in your head already. Monday, let's say I put Monday evening. All right, so I know Monday evening, that's my time I want to start. Mm? It's, if you have a specific time, it's easier. If not, if you put it Monday, Monday is so long, you could have procrastinate again. 
So it's not powerful enough, you see. So if you set a specific time, I think it works better. Huh? You can consider these suggestions. The next one is improve your environment. What does that mean, improve your environment? Improve your environment, what you can do is you can have those little, little notes uh, that you can stick it here and there to remind yourself. When you see it, you know, oh, okay, these are the deadlines I need to start. Monday evening, I need to start. And uh, you have the little note that, you know, earlier we say you break down your job, right? Okay, for this subject, what I want to do, for that subject, what I want to do. Or even you can give yourself some uh, motivation code, like mm, something like motivation code that you read and then it's a reminder and it's a strength of, it's a, it's a strength, it's a kind of strength for you to move forward to get you, get the ball rolling. That is improving your environment. Last is you start with your best or worst task. What does that mean? That means the easiest or the hardest one is your choice that you want to start with easier or the hardest task. Some, they would like to start the easier first, right? And then they keep the difficult one to the last so that they have more time to tackle it. Some students will do it the worst task first, the hardest one first, you know, they complete it, they conquer it, uh, I mean conquer, they conquer it, they finish it, and then, you know, they have a lot of time, then they say, okay, now I tackle the easy one, at least the tough one is settled. So it depends on you, you see, which you are comfortable to do with, and which is your practice. Either you do the easier one first, or you do the hardest one first. So this is the way that we compare, we combat our procrastinations. Okay, let's recap a bit once, uh, once again. How to combat procrastination? I think this is very important, though. Yeah, so that we don't down, we don't get ourselves down with the danger uh, to, the, to the consequences of procrastinations like earlier. Later, I will go back again to recap the whole thing again. Yeah. So let's let's uh, recap this first. How to combat procrastinations? You break tasks into manageable steps. You commit to a tiny first step. You give yourself permissions to make mistakes. You make it easier to do things. You make tasks more enjoyable. And then you make it harder to procrastinate and you set deadlines and you improve your environment and you start with your best uh, task or the worst task. This is a few ways that you can combat the uh, procrastination. Huh? Next, I would like to recap on the dangers of procrastination. Yeah. This is the consequences and these are dangers, okay? And if you are landed in this one, then you will have unnecessary anxiety, which can be avoided if you don't procrastinate your work, all right? Uh, generally, procrastination is associated with various potential issues, including you will miss your opportunities, you will work, you will have worse academic performance, you will uh, increase your interpersonal conflicts and worse emotional well-being. All right, now we will go backward again. Why we procrastinate? Because we are wired to seek instant gratification, because we think we should be perfect, because we don't like what we need to do, because we are too busy. Right? So these are the reasons why we procrastinate. Of course, it's not limited to these four. Of course, there will be a lot more. And you understand yourself better and you know what exactly why you are procrastinate. It's that, but you, you do not need to be feeling that, you know, helpless or whatever. Because there is way to, by understanding why you procrastinate, then you know the consequences of procrastination. It will help you, you know, to have a better standing about the whole situations. And we have an approach for you how to combat your procrastinations. And finally, last but not least, procrastination is like a disease that is treatable if you stay on top of it, okay? With the help of proper measure, you can easily say goodbye to your procrastinations, right? So I hope you benefit from uh, today's talk. Although it's a very short one, but I think it's quite informative. I hope you benefit from this. And um, if you do have, uh, if you need further assistance or help, we are ready to serve as student guidance unit. Please feel free to contact our counsellor or training counsellor there. And uh, don't forget to fill up your score run form, which I will be putting up soon. 
So uh, stay tuned to our next live talk from SGU. Goodbye and good night. Thank you for staying with me. All right, I have put up the scoring form. Please remember to claim your reward, yeah? All right, have a pleasant evening and see you soon. Goodbye.